Hi, uh, my name is Kim Hansel uh, from uh, North Korea. This is Kim Han Sol. He's a young college educated 20 something, well traveled and fluent in English. I got to meet friends from all over the world. In short, he's the antithesis of what most people in the West think of when they think of North Korea. There's something else unusual about him. His uncle is North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, a dictator who runs his country as a cross between a police state and a personality cult. Experts on North Korea suspect that it was Kim Jong-un who was behind the killing of Han Sol's father in an airport in Malaysia on February the 13th. So who is Kim Han Sol? He was born in Pyongyang, though he has lived abroad for most of his life. In the eyes of some observers, he seems to be a symbol of sorts for what North Korea could be, cosmopolitan and open to the outside world. Uh, I like the food, the people are very nice here. And... and then another possibility presents itself. Could this young man someday become the next leader of a more moderate, more engaged nation? Here's where Han Sol fits on the family tree. Kim Han Sol is the youngest male of the Kim family bloodline. He is the son of Kim Jong-nam, the recently assassinated half-brother of the current ruler, Kim Jong-un. Their father was Kim Jong-il, and his father was Kim Il-sung, the founder of North Korea. Han Sol has commented on politics in the past. He did the unthinkable by North Korean standards and called his uncle a dictator. Uh, I really never met them in real life, so I really don't know how it became... Uh how he became uh, a dictator. And in that same 2012 interview with a Finnish television station, he also expressed his wish to improve relations between North and South Korea. I've always dreamed that one day I will go back and make things better and uh, make it easier for the people there. But many experts say the chances of Han Sol one day leading North Korea are slim. North Korea expert Bruce Cummings says Han Sol's genealogy would make him high royalty in his nation. But he's much too young. And most people in North Korea might not even know he exists. According to Stephen Norper, information in the country is so tightly controlled that any reference to Han Sol would likely never appear in the state-controlled press. It also seems highly unlikely current leader Kim Jong-un would pick a successor who has been so openly critical of him. Among North Korean elites, any defectors are considered enemies of the regime. Andrei Lankov says Han Sol would be considered an apostate. And his bloodline might even pose a threat to his life, like it did to his father, who was killed although he kept a low profile and was not known to have any political aspiration. Purges and targeted killings have allowed Kim Jong-un to consolidate his power. But even if he were somehow toppled, experts say it would likely mean the end of the Kim clan's dominance, not the rise of Han Sol. <laughs>